Hey, Chef Marco Nicoli here. So excited to have you in my backyard with my birch barrel. We're gonna cover some really incredible barbecue recipes to kick off the summer for you. You can find all these recipes on our website, but I wanted to do a chicken drumstick. So I have my chicken drumsticks right here. And uh, just a few notes I wanted to talk through here. So I have a local butcher that I've been working with for years. He does a lot of my butchering for me. But things you're gonna look for if you're gonna do it yourself or you wanna instruct your butcher is you want them really evenly done. I talk all the time when I'm cooking that as long as everything is uniform, it's gonna cook uniform on the grill. So uh, I like a little bit of fat left on it, just a teeny bit. You can kind of pull this up. Um, sometimes my butcher leaves uh, some pieces up here. So I'll just remove this. If you have a good pair of kitchen shears, that'll work. Um, but we're just doing a little bit of trimming and we're gonna pull this fat up right here. Again, I like to pull these out about 20 minutes before I'm gonna go onto the grill to get a little bit of a dry skin texture on the outside. It's gonna give you a much better crispy skin. So you're looking for about 75% of it covered with fat. It's gonna give you much more flavor. No cartilage or extra bone here. If you have any, you wanna trim that off. All right, guys, now that we have the chicken all prepped, cleaned, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna cover a barbecue sauce. So this is a perfect barbecue sauce that you can use on just about everything. I keep it pretty simple. We got some ketchup, some yellow mustard, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, and one raw onion. So I like it that a little bit neutral. If you wanted to, we could go ahead and throw this on. I'll do it for another recipe we're gonna work with, but we could throw this on the grill one, it's gonna season the grill really well, but then two, it's gonna put some flavor on that and you could add it to your barbecue sauce just to get one more depth of flavor, like a smoky kind of flavor as we're going. But what I'm gonna do is just put a rough chop on these and we're gonna cook all of this for about 20 minutes. I recommend doing it ahead of time so that you have a full day for it to rest, to develop flavor. Um, and when I make barbecue sauce, I make enough to just keep in the fridge for even up to a week, two weeks. So I got about two cups of, bar, uh, of ketchup right here. And we're just gonna take this onion, add this to the ketchup. And again, as these onions sweat down on the stove, it's gonna add more flavor. They're gonna get soft. If you want a really smooth barbecue sauce, you could throw that in a blender. I like a little bit of texture in my barbecue sauce. So I like onion, but again, it's gonna sweat down. To that, I'm gonna add, we'll call it, I don't know, a cup of apple cider vinegar. Um, again, it's gonna look a little bit runny, but as the sugars in the brown sugar kind of caramelize and come together, it's gonna thicken your barbecue sauce on the stove. So we're gonna put maybe a cup of this. And again, you can find all these recipes on our website. And you just wanna mix this in well. We'll do all this mustard. The mustard gives it a tang that I love, almost like an acidity that you'd get from citrus. And because of the magic of TV. Guess what? I have one finished. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's done, okay? So I'm gonna slide this out of our way a little bit. We're gonna talk about this. Birch Barrel's rubs are just incredible. We have about four in our lineup. This is perfect for chicken. It's our rooster strut rub. We're gonna use this for our drumsticks. All right, guys, so we started our barbecue sauce. I've let it rest for 24 hours. I've blended it up so it's nice and smooth for this recipe. We're gonna start with the rooster strut rub. So I'm gonna throw some gloves on. What we're gonna do is just lightly sprinkle it before we put some barbecue sauce on, and then we're gonna do an additional rub after we put barbecue sauce on. So what I'm gonna do is so that we're not cross-contaminating, we're just gonna put a little bit on the board and we'll just run it through it, and we'll start from the front and just work our way back, kind of getting it underneath the skin as much as we can. So I don't like to use too much barbecue sauce before because of the sugar in it, it's gonna burn. So you gotta be really careful how much barbecue sauce you use. So once we get a little bit pre-cook, I always like finishing, so serving with barbecue sauce. So again, it may look like we're not using much, but ultimately it's just creating a really nice bark on your chicken drumstick. And with cooking, I always like feeling like I can interact with my guests, hang out with my friends while I'm doing it. 
So if this is something you'd like to do ahead of time, you could always do this about 24 hours before and let it rest and then grill it. It also saves you time day of if you got other things you're worrying about. All right, now that we got them all smothered in barbecue sauce, we're gonna use just a little bit more of the rooster strut. And then we are going to head to the grill. All right, let's get these drumsticks on the grill. We're gonna lock it in, add some wood and get it smoking. So what we're gonna do is bring the lid down lock it in and raise it up. And I have these beautiful little apple wood chips. I'm just gonna add it just to my charcoal that's already going. We're gonna get a little bit of smoke. I'm gonna raise, lower this to about right there. And we're gonna do this for 20 minutes. See you in 20. All right guys, we've been smoking for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna drop it now so that we get a sear. And then I'm gonna turn the drumstick. Let's check these. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. good all right guys we're gonna just finish it with a little more of the rooster strut and then that homemade barbecue sauce wings on the birch barrel <laughs> 